Okay, we need to know about polluted runoff. Because if we know about polluted runoff, we can help to stop it. Okay, but maybe let's just have a nice story. Okay, maybe just let's have a nice story. This is your home. Hey, what is that? That is not your house. Here you go. This is your home. That is true. I love that. That looks like a really nice home. Nice windows. You are lucky. I know. This is a curvy orange line. That is the way I draw houses. With a nice orange line right there. That is style. Okay, here's the drain, right by your house. There's always some kind of drain for the water to go down when it rains. Which is all the time where we live. Okay, not every day, but anyway. So this is called a storm drain. There used to be creeks and streams, but we covered most of them up with the roads and the sidewalks and the parking lots and the roofs and stuff. But that is another story. Never mind. Okay, water has got to go somewhere. If it did not go somewhere, there would be water everywhere. We would have to be fish. But we are not fish. But we like fish in the water where they belong. Enough! Storm drain. Where is it? Don't ask. Okay, ask. Where's the storm drain? It is in the street. Don't go out there. There are lots of cars and things go fast. They are bigger than you. It is dangerous. Trust me. Anyway, these are clouds. Those are not the right kind of clouds. They should look like these. Hmm. Okay, you are right. When they are dark, they do some raining and get your stuff wet. Look at that. That is some sweet rain coming down. That is precipitation. This is not a weather lesson. Okay. So, I am like, here comes the rainwater, it's really coming down. And the roof is like, I don't care, go away, I am a roof. I am tough, I reject you, I keep you out. And the rain is like, freak out, I cannot stop, I must keep going downward. So the rain splashes on the roof, and washes off the soot and the dirt, and the heavy metals, and goes in the gutters, and goes down the pipes, and out into the street, and then it gets run over by cars. Ow, 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 the street is dangerous, I knew that. Where's the creek? It is not here, that is another story, we do not have time. Anyway, under the storm drain, there are pipes and tubes and stuff to take the water away instead of the creeks and streams which used to take the water away now it's all very complicated i don't really know about this i'm not a plumber but the water that goes down the drain is all messy and full of oil and gas and pesticides from the lawn and some chewing gum from that kid down the street who never listens to his mom and also some bugs that did not have a good day yeah and it goes down real real fast like wow that was fast it is so fast it scoops up dirt too and it goes down the storm drain and then into the streams and splash it is too much it is going too fast and it comes out into the lake whoosh or puget sound whoosh and it is all full of all that icky stuff and it makes a mess and kills the fish and other stuff this is bad Okay, so we put a green roof on Zumasium. That is like a habitat. Mmm, nice. On your house, it would look like that. That is sweet. Oh, so a green roof is like dirt and plants and everything. So when it rains, it just soaks it up and it goes into the plants. And the little bitty rain that does come off the roof comes off real slow. But most of it just evaporates or ends up inside the plants because they are always getting so thirsty and stuff. But who has time to put this on the roof? This is a rain barrel. That is a nice color. Looks like terracotta. Reminds me of the south of France. But I am like, it is too big. But then I am like, forget that. It is just a picture. They are just right for your house, good ball. And we need two. One goes over here. No more runoff. Use the water for your plants. Makes them green. The end. For now.